नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट सप्लाई चेन एंड कस्टम टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इंपोर्ट बैंक डॉक्यूमेंटेशन फॉर बिलो वेंट्री सबमिशन ओके सो दिस प्रोसेस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एट इनिशियल स्टेज हियर वी आर इंपोर्टर्स ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउ वी विल स्टार्ट this process we will understand one by one at initial stage any goods we require our team our uh, unit then we prepare the purchase order for that okay so the purchase order is prepared on basis of the performa invoice all term and conditions mention in the per perform on wise we prepare the purchase order on basis of, of the pi okay so in this case we will negotiate some terms and conditions and then we share share our perform invoice and and also authorize check in verify the perform invoice after sign performa invoice after sign it mean that the performa invoice invoice is accepted and all term and condition and pricing is accepted okay so on behalf that we prepare the purchase order once we prepare the purchase order our supplier will dispatch the goods from origin country okay so he send the pre intimation document supplier send the pre intimation document okay so in this case what he will do once he export the goods he receives some documents from the shipping line okay bill of lading and invoice packing list okay these are the basic document which supplier need to submit to importers okay for the import preparation in the destination country so here we are the importer and we need this document for the bill of entry files okay so once we receive this document we will share this document to our agent and agent will file the bill of entry and we need to pay the duty in respect of that bill of entry okay so in this stage shipment is in transit okay so before arriving the shipment in indian territory we need to file bill of entry and once envoy of the shipment is done then bill of entry is in uh, you know, bill of entry is interest start of duty payment okay if you will not pay duty even shipment enter in the indian territory then interest need to be pay okay and the bill of entry also need to be filed before arriving the shipments or the end of the day of that particular days on which shipment is uh, received at indian territory now bill of entry duty payment and all the things are happen then finally the goods need deliver at our factory okay after goods delivery of the factory the is the document need to submit to the bank so at the stage of bill of entry bill of entry file at this stage once we intimate to government that our goods are uh, coming and in, in transit and once uh, goods are uh, about to reach at the indian territory so we just intimate the government that uh, by filing the bill of entry okay so here once we file the bill of entry the transaction of that bill of entry is reflect in the custom okay and in respect of that particular transactions shipping line also file the igm okay so both details are verified if both details are not matching then the error 
comes which is called ig mirror okay so here one thing need to understand the details submitted by the carrier means shipping line and details below in details submitted by the importer more detail need to be match exactly otherwise igm error reflect so in this case the things need to be updated igm that below entry uh, content number item description such kind of things which need to be correct submission in the indian government for the filing of this details okay so once the igm error comes then the data will not reflect in system that show only the error but in case of the details are both details are matching igm and bill of entry then this data go to the uh, idpms and reflect as a open entry okay so as a open entry all the term, term and condition also mention in that uh, idpms entry like a shipment is a commercial or a foc volumetric weight goods descriptions all the things okay now this entry is open until and unless we not submit the document to the bank okay so for this entry closing we need to show we need to submit the document of the import then set up document need to prepare for that commercial invoice starting sorry, purchase order commercial invoice bill of lading okay these are the basic documents and uh, we need to submit this document okay and bill of entry this is the important documents so once we submit this document bank will reconcile the entry and remove from the open entry okay so for every shipments we need to submit the bank document to the bank okay in respect of the import otherwise ship, uh, bank will send us the reminder for submission of the documents okay so in this session we have tried to understand bank documentation and why why we need to submit this document because at import time we submit the bill of entry and shipping line carrier submit the igm in that respect in the both details are matched then shipment go, uh, details goes to the idpms and entry will reflect as a open once we submit the document in respect of this entry then entry will be closed okay if you are not submit the document in timely then it will be uh, uh, objection or we can say bank send the reminder so guys we are going to end the session here thank you for watching the session have a nice day